Do you want to be in a thread daily? Do you want to be in a thread daily? As it turns out, stealing one of these from the office was a good move. Okay, I've got nowhere to really put it. Hi guys, Elliot here and welcome to a Thread Daily from home. Obviously with the government's current regulations following the COVID-19 outbreak, the Thread team is working from home. So prepare yourselves for a more personal touch to the dailies and possibly some less interesting backgrounds. I've put up a couple of posters. I hope you appreciate it because it wasn't easy. They did not cooperate using a lot of alliteration. On a related note, I wanted to talk to you guys today about how the COVID-19 outbreak is affecting the cinema industry. It's something I've been keeping up to date with and reading a lot about, and I just thought we could have a little chat about it. For me, personally, the first time I realised that the coronavirus was going to have the effect it has was when I heard that the new James Bond film, No Time to Die, had pushed its release back from mid-April to November 12th, 25th, if you're in the US. And I remember thinking at the time, that's a little rash how wrong I was. With no one to fill seats in cinemas, production and distribution companies have postponed the release of a lot of films. And then Quiet Place Part 2, Disney's Mulan, Marvel's Black Widow, and as well as that, a lot of movies that were in production have been halted. The new Batman movie, Mission Impossible 7, Jurassic World, Dominion, and of course, Amazon's The Wheel of Time. And this may not seem like the most important effect that the coronavirus is having on the world, and it isn't. But I think it is worth talking about because this is something that is completely unprecedented. I don't think Hollywood has gone a month without any new pictures being released since Hollywood has been a thing. Even during World War II, film production actually increased. So this really is a strange time for cinema. This will have ripple effects for the film industry for a long time to come, a long time after cinemas have reopened and we're allowed to leave our houses again and pay for a ticket and sit next to strangers. One of the effects that this is immediately having is that a lot of the big film companies are putting a lot of their films out on demand on streaming services a lot earlier than they normally would. Universal's The Invisible Man and Emma, as well as Warner Brothers' The Birds of Prey are already out on streaming services online. Even Pixar's Onward is currently on Disney+, Plus, despite the fact it came out on March 6th. And this is closing the gap between theatrical releases and when films come out on demand a gap that was already getting smaller, as well as the growth of streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Prime in general. People have estimated that the COVID-19 outbreak could increase traffic to streaming sites by as much as 60%. And this will do one of two things. It could either cement the trend that was already happening of people moving towards consuming content on streaming services, or it will remind people how much they enjoy going to the cinema and watching a movie and it being an event. But either way, the big film companies will be looking at this time as an experiment to see how it affects their profit margins and whether or not streaming services are the future of distribution. I'd like to end on a slightly more positive note. Obviously, the big cinema chains, View, Odeon, are more likely than not going to survive this period, but it is the small art house theatres that are going to suffer most. And if you're someone who really enjoys going to the cinema and are worried about your local cinema in these turbulent times, there are ways you can help. For a lot of them, it is still possible to go online and buy gift card vouchers, therefore giving the cinema your money now and redeeming it later, or a lot of them have memberships you could sign up for. And so obviously this advice only applies to people who are in a position to help their local cinema if they choose to. By banding together, we will survive this and hopefully so will our smaller cinemas. Thank you guys. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Head to thread.com to check out some great articles, great reviews, great content. The new website is looking sexier than a mug but not sexier than this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.